What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh, back with another video. Today we have one of my absolute favorite subreddits, r slash murdered by words. This video took a long time to make, but I really hope you guys enjoy it. Any ugly places in Iceland? Oh, just go to the bathroom in any bar, walk over the sink, and look up. The Black Plague disappeared without a vaccine. Just saying. Hashtag anti-vax. I don't know, should... Should I tell him? Should you tell him? Someone... Someone should probably tell him. It... Killed a third of Europe. Do you accept insults, you absolute buffoon? Buffoon. A moron who thinks he is smarter than others, but cannot spell the word buffoon. That bonehead wrote a letter to the newspaper calling Steve Jobs a buffoon. How embarrassing would that be? Oh no. How much do you get paid for each HPV vaccine? Less than the florist gets paid for the flowers at the funeral for someone who dies from HPV-related cancer. There's nothing more satisfying than being prettier than your ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend. Well, the fact that he's not going just for looks anymore means you taught him a valuable lesson. Oh honey, she was not ready for that. Honestly, climate change scares the heck out of me, and it makes me so sad to see what we're losing because of it. Maybe you should learn some actual science then, and stop listening to the criminals pushing the hashtag global warming scam. I don't know, man. I already went and got a PhD in astrophysics. Seems like more than that would be overkill at this point. Hi. Hello there. Seriously, you didn't, you didn't respond with a Star Wars quote? Anyway. Hi. Hello there. How's your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Ha, <laughs> I know. Just reminding you. How's your dad? <sighs> ah! What is something everyone on Reddit should buy right now that costs less than $5? Condoms. Oh, I assume OP meant something most Redditors would actually have the opportunity to use. Hey, he took himself down to make sure the ship went with him. May 9th. Pro Jared becomes the first person to lose 100,000 subs in a day. May 10th. James Charles becomes the first person to lose 1 million subs in a day. Oh, poor Jared. Lost his marriage, dignity, career. Now he lost his sub loss record. This reminds me of Logan Paul losing the record for most viewed apology video to James Charles' 8 minute video titled Tati. It's not a record you ever really want to hold, but if you're in the running for it, you better be in the lead. I'd also like to take this moment to recognize the real winner from all this drama, Keemstar. Dude went from gaining a few thousand subs on a good day to nearly 50,000 subs in the two days following Tati's original 43 minute Bye Sister video uploaded on May 10th. His sub gain also increased noticeably the day after news broke regarding Tifu's lawsuit against FaZe. I guess it truly is a gnome in his natural habitat. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Fuck you. Where is my present? I'm already your present, ha ha ha. Because without me, you won't be a mother also, huh? Yeah, right. You're the second child. So without you, I would still be a mother. Useless. What 24-hour challenge should I do next? Hey, try not to copy Mr. Beast for 24 hours. I mean, there was the whole prison thing, then the slime thing, and the insane asylum thing, and the whole last to leave the circle thing, but hey, in the words of Jimmy himself, copying is the sincerest form of flattery. A quick editor's note, since I recorded this video, Morix has already uploaded another video with an idea seemingly lifted straight from MrBeast's channel. Digging a bit further, he has some more videos eerily similar to MrBeast's titles, including large streamer donations and a large scale zombie video. I'd also like to point out that I recognized some other inspiration, shall we say, on his channel. His recent 24 hours in VR is likely lifted from the viral week in virtual reality video, and his extreme hide and seek is also probably inspired by none other than Jake Paul's recent viral hide and seek video. Sure, channels like FaZe have been putting out high stakes hide and seek videos for a while, but I've heard the winner only gets to keep 20% of the prize money. I'm not a commentary channel, so I won't go into my opinions on the quality of Mork's content or anyone else for that matter. But if someone's asking for receipts on the uniqueness of his videos or his thumbnails, well, here you go. 
Jake Paul, we need to discuss cyberbullying. Also, Jake Paul, doxes Post Malone, whose house is later stuck up at gunpoint. Also, Jake Paul, hosts party where girls are drugged. Also, Jake Paul, brainwash kids to sell them merch. Also, Jake Paul, posting softcore porn for 12-year-olds. Now, Ethan, while I very much appreciate your input on this, as always, I think you're drastically overestimating the average age of a Jake Paul viewer. Who said rednecks can't wear sunglasses? Literally not a single breathing, talking, walking, living person out of the 7 plus billion people that live on this planet has ever said that. She makes songs for girls who think they're psychopaths and capable of murder when in reality they're too scared to ask for more ketchup packets. Now, I actually like some of Billie Eilish's music, but at the same time, this particular screenshot is from her music video for her hit song, Bad Guy. And Billie, what the hell is this? Someone is posting Game of Thrones spoilers on anti-vaccine pages, and they are the hero this world needs. Spoiler. Everyone Dies works both ways, actually. Congratulations on wasting a hundred billion dollars landing a remote-controlled buggy on Mars. Not sure how this is supposed to help us poor people here on Earth, but great job. The money doesn't get sent to Mars, idiot. It gets spent and put back into the economy. Just because the government isn't hand-feeding it to you, that doesn't mean it left America. If we removed the church tax exemption, we'd have enough money to send a rover to Mars once every two weeks. Forever. Not to mention it only costs two and a half billion dollars, which is what the US military spends every 33 hours. And we spend seven billion on potato chips a year. Yet NASA is the bad guy. I was really taken by this potato chip comparison to the price of the Mars rover, so let's quantify some other US industries in the same terms. The US consumes 15.2 Mars rovers worth of pizza every year, and if Pizza Hut stopped food production and turned their cotton cellulose stocks into rocket fuel, they alone could launch a rover every 2.3 months. Some of you might be watching this video on an iPhone, and had you chosen not to support the luxury phone market, and instead opted for a more budget device, Apple wouldn't have the income to launch a rover every 3.5 days. I guess that's why they call it Space Gray. Just remember folks. US spending on social welfare programs accounted for more than a trillion dollars of the federal budget. It doesn't matter if you think that number should be bigger or smaller, it only matters that the two and a half billion dollars in a contract in NASA's California-based Jet Propulsion Lab isn't the reason why there's poverty in the country. How do I tell my parents that I accidentally sold our house? Alright, obvious play for attention is obvious. I don't need to read the entire paragraph. What matters is that his phone's at 1%. Please charge your damn phone. If your ex texts you, I still love you. I want you back. What will be your reply? See, this is why I left you. Always texting your exes. When is Hollywood going to stop piggybacking off of classics by using a female lead and essentially remaking the same movie? And for all of you feminists who say anything positive about this, you're being taken advantage of by Hollywood. They just see you as an easy target market. Hollywood has become so lazy. You know that Linda Hamilton is a leading woman in both Terminator 1 and 2, correct? Thank you for the reply, Governor Schwarzenegger. Oh my god. Check out Andrew on YouTube. Vitamin C is magic for sickness. I'd rather take C than get horrible chemicals in my bloodstream. Well, the chemical formula for vitamin C is C6H806. You know Burger King also has spicy chicken nuggets, right? Yeah, and there's also water in the bottom of the dumpster out back if you're really thirsty. Okay, it's a good roast. Wendy's is a great Twitter account, I'll give you that, but at the same time, the Burger King spicy chicken nuggets are kinda great. The most generous comparison I could give here is that Wendy's is like the bottled Fiji to Burger King's tap water. Sure, it might not be as nice, but there's nothing really wrong with it, and at $1.50 for 10 nuggets, you bet your ass it's gonna be cheaper. Hey, so if you're thinking about using your fame to pressure underage girls to send you naked photos of themselves, maybe take a step away from the computer and throw yourself directly into the ocean instead. Thanks in advance. Oh well, 
That seems a little bit insensitive. Maybe that could have been worded differently. Oh, she issued an apology. We're, we're all good. I would like to publicly apologize to the ocean for suggesting more trash be thrown into it, but at least useless sacks of meat are biodegradable. Man, I appreciate her clearing the air on that one. I don't want Pro Jared anywhere near people again, but that doesn't mean I want to see what he'll do to a manatee either. Keep our oceans clean, people. Come on. I've had sex 500 times. Ask me anything. Profile does not check out. On another post 19 days ago, you said you finally get to have sex. If that was truly your first time, in order to have had sex 500 times, you would have had to have sex at least 26 times per day. Assuming a healthy 8 hours of sleep per day, you would have to have sex every 36 minutes to be able to reach this goal. I'm gonna call BS on this one, Chief. Well, you see, if we dive into the numbers here... I guess he already did. I'm not sure what to do with myself now. On to the next post, I... I guess. I love Pokemon! Well, now we gotta throw away the whole franchise. Thanks, Jake. Would you look at that? Jake Paul used Posty Docs, and it was very effective. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Be sure to subscribe for more daily Reddit content. Drop a like if you liked the video, and I will see you all tomorrow.